So this is the back porch. This is the door you enter in. And then this is the this is the back porch. The uh, fireplace room, kitchen, and dining room. And let's just get a get you an idea of the wilderness back here. It is pretty wildernessy, but there's a lot. Goes back real far. There's a shed back there. Yeah. yeah, it's on your property. Okay, into the house we go. Um, fireplace closet or fireplace room. I'll give you a pan. Got some windows. And then this would be what's considered the master bedroom so far. A little on the small side, got a thing. I don't know if there's a slab out there, but it's a door. Goes out into the wilderness there. Got some short windows that come down to the ground. Um, does have a walk-in closet here. Um, decent size. Built-in shelving. Going left into bathroom on the small side. I did almost think about, you know, serious like door there, wall this up. It'd be like an L shape, bring the bathroom out. This whole back could be bathroom. I don't know, but you'd have to expand and. Uh, Oh, Barry's gonna love this nasty toilet. Looks like rats have been jumping in and out of it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm telling you, that might be a good idea. You'd have to expand though. But you could really make that into a master bed bath. Um, so then this is the like entrance way. That would be the front door. And uh, this feels kind of small and squarish. This is the outside. See the car? We'll be, I'll show you out there later. Um, got a closet when we first come in. This is another like pantry closet. Um, it's for like umbrellas and shit or something. Jackets. Uh, old school wooden room paneling. They added this on in the 70s. Used to have carpet, tack strips around the base. Trazzo floor. Trazzo floor. Underneath, I just stepped on a cockroach head, made a crunch. More rats running around the toilet with their dirty little feet. Got some plumbing back there. Right away on my toe. Complete gut of this whole thing. Cabinets, complete gut. There's more. Um, got that apricot old school. No, this is a double sink. Wow, that's interesting. All right, and then we are come out into the garage. Good garage size. Two two garage, newer water heater. Um, newer garage door opener, newer garage door installed. Um, whoa, what the fuck is that cage for? Uh, got some paint. Looks like they had giant bird. You got a giant bird cage. Oil drum heater thing in the back. Uh, AC unit. It's getting pretty old. It's got some newer parts on it though. What is that new part? I'll Google that later. That might be the oil heater. It might have like an oil heat. Oh yeah. I see an air vent goes out. So heating is done by like oil or something. 
Um, all right, now we're back in the house. This is like a second bedroom. This is like nicely done. It's got curtains, old windows, uh, doors are missing, they're the sliding doors. Um, got the closet with like the built-in shelves. Pretty neat, pretty nice, newly painted. And out of this room, that bathroom we were at, the garage, and then continuing, got some hallway storage closets, and another little tiny closet, a towel closet, something. Um, and then we are out into like the dining room table area and the screen porch where we started. In the kitchen, we'll do the kitchen tour in a second. So then back down this hallway, this garage. This is room number three, I guess. Um, pretty neat room. Well, carpet kind of smells like there's some water damage. Um, ceilings look fine. Um, it's got this neat thing, this neat like ledge thing. Um, and again, we got the back door. Oh, dad's out in the Electrical panel here. Um, more closet stuff. Okay. And coming out is the entrance where we were. And that door was the one that goes into the wooden room. Pantry. This is the thing. And this is the kitchen area. Uh, so of course it's going to be all gutted and stuff. It does have these sliding windows that go out. Um, these are all cement supports, so these walls need to stay. The ceiling can be lifted though. Um, fridge, cabinets, sink, dishwasher, stove, pantry area. Original stove. Yeah. All right, and then we're back into the fireplace room area. In the backyard. 